Fachsprachprüfung or FSP is a language test designed for foreign medical professionals interested in doing a post graduation in Germany. Unlike other tests, this test is designed solely to focus on your command over the German language in a medical setting and not on your medical knowledge per se. Namaste and welcome back to my channel. That's right, we're gonna be discussing about the Fachsprachprüfung today. So if you're a medical professional studied outside of Germany and is interested in doing PG in Germany, you're the right place. So watch till the end, let's learn. One of the most common questions I get in my comment section is, how do I apply for the FSP? Your application for an approbation or a Berufserlaubnis will be made with all the relevant documents, including the German language certificate up to B2 level, and it will be sent to the Bezirksregierung or the district government. Once the application is reviewed and the need for FSP is established, that means you have studied your MBBS or medical education outside of Germany anywhere in Europe or outside of Europe. This data will be sent to the Ärztekammer or the State Medical Council. The Ärztekammer will then contact you and ask you to pay the fee. It could be anywhere between 350 euros all the way up to 550 euros depending on the state you apply to. After they receive your fee, they will schedule an exam date for you and that will also be communicated to you via mail. And there you have it. That's how you apply for the Fachsprachprüfung. This is the one and only way. There is no other way. If you have chosen to stay with me up till now, I'm assuming you are getting value from this video. And I will ask you to hit the like button because it helps me out a lot to spread and grow the channel. Why should you listen to me? Well, I completed my MBBS in India, learned the German language in nine months in India up to the C1 level, applied for a hospitation and came to Germany in 2017. Within the first month, I got a job offer and joined that job in the university clinic of Hamburg in a surgical department, which means I have experienced what you want to experience. I can draw out, out of my experiences the things that worked for me, the things that did not work for me, so that you don't have to make those mistakes. Who better than me to guide you on your path and help you get a PG in Germany? So if you want to know more about the entire process, my whole channel is dedicated to that topic of PG in Germany and how to learn the language more effectively and better. So you can hit the subscribe button and you can also join my Facebook group, a community of like-minded people like you and me. Let's get back on track. Now let's discuss the structure of the Fachsprachprüfung and what you exactly have to do to clear this exam in one go like I did. It is a practical test based on real medical situations, but focuses mainly on your language skills rather than your medical expertise. The FSP is an hour long exam divided into three segments of 20 minutes each, focusing on different parts of a medical conversation. These will include the doctor patient conversation, the doctor documentation, and the doctor doctor interaction. Part 1 is a doctor-patient interaction, also called an arts patienten gespräch You will engage in a medical history discussion with a patient who will be played by an actor. The objective is to simulate the everyday doctor-patient interaction. Start by asking the patient various questions and taking their medical history exactly like you learned during your MBBS and your practical classes. You will then suggest a preliminary diagnosis and suggest further diagnostic therapies and treatments. The goal here is that the patient should clearly understand you meaning no medical terminologies or medical jargon must be used. So you have to talk to them in a language they can understand. Also be prepared to answer any follow-up questions that the patient might have. Part two is documentation. You are required here to document the medical history discussion that took place in part one. You will be provided with a standard medical history form, also called the anamnese bogen during the exam. Transfer the medical information you collected while talking and asking questions from the patient in the first step. This information should be documented in a way which is easy to understand by other medical professionals. That means medical jargon and medical terminologies will be used. 
And finally, part three is a doctor-doctor conversation, also called the arzt arts gespräch This part simulates a ward around where you discuss the patient's case with two other senior doctors, possibly including the chief doctor of the department, also called the chef. You will present the case in a structured manner, summarizing the medical history, your preliminary diagnosis, and the treatment suggestions. Use medical terms here. You're talking to a medical professional. The two doctors will then ask you follow-up questions and may present additional information for you to evaluate. You'll be evaluated by a maximum of three examiners using standard evaluation sheets. You can score a maximum of 60 points, out of which 36 points is the bare minimum you must get. There is also an additional fourth part to the exam for medical terminologies, wherein you'll be given five minutes to translate a list of 10 medical terminologies into general German language. But that part isn't as important as the rest of the first three. Also, that part comes with experience, which means the more you expose yourself in a clinical environment, the more terminologies you will start to pick up and how to be able to communicate them. That is why the best practice for the Fachsprachprüfung is a hospitation. But that part you already know, because I repeat it every time in my video. Anyway, if you do not pass the exam in your first attempt, worry not, because you can take the exam again and again and again, because there's no limit in the number of attempts you can have for this exam. It's just that you have to pay the fee. Of the exam each time. To pass this exam, you need to be able to demonstrate your language skills, skills that are required to talk to a patient, skills that are required to document correctly what you understood from the patient, and skills that are required to discuss the case with your medical colleagues in a medical setting or a ward around. Now you know how to and when to apply for a Fachsprachprüfung, what you will be tested on and what you need to work hard on learning. You know what all will be asked of you during those exams. Remember one thing though, it is all about your language skills. So focus on learning German, especially the part about listening or Hörverstehen, Schreiben or writing, and finally, expression or talking, because these are the three parts of the German language that you would absolutely need to master before you go for this exam. That's why one of the key requirements to sit for this exam is a minimum of B2 language certificate. Also remember that you're not allowed any foreign material during the exam, and any form of cheating will lead to immediate failure, possibly a ban. That means your PG dream is over. So do not cheat and prepare well. If, however, you want to learn my methods and the methods I used to clear the FSB exam in Hamburg while working full-time in the university clinic of Hamburg in a surgical department, then good news, you can, because I decided to make a course about what I know. But it will be out soon. But in the meantime, I have a question for you. What would you like me to make in my next video? Write down in the comment sections below. And if your comment or question gets more than 20 likes, then I will make a video on that topic. How about that? Also, if you have any other questions, write them in the comment section below. Like always, I will take the time and answer them for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Alles Gute.